ελεύθερη στο όνομα του Θεού. Μάιτερ Μαντζίζα. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Στο παντοδύναμο όνομα του Ιησού Χριστού. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. Στο παντοδύναμο όνομα του Ιησού Χριστού. The mighty name of Jesus. This is disappointment I'm seeing in your life. Βλέπω απογοήτευση στη ζωή σου. Much disappointment. The things do not come the way you expect. Πολύ μεγάλη απογοήτευση. Τα πράγματα δεν έρχονται όπως τα περιμένεις. So this is the end of it today. Και αυτό τελειώνει σήμερα. In the name of Jesus. Στο όνομα του Ιησού Χριστού. After receiving prayer and a prophetic word, Mrs. Nimmerichter wanted to confirm what the man of God Harry had prophesied. Let us listen. Sister, we greet in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Please introduce yourself, tell us your name and where are you coming from. My name is Ina Nimmerichter. I come from Austria. During the prayer line, we saw the man of God coming to you and giving you a prophetic word. Can you please tell us what exactly did the man of God tell you? Yes, the man of God said, there is much disappointment in my life. And he said, with this day, the disappointment will be over. Tell us, how do you confirm this prophetic word to be true for your life? I confirm it to be 100% true. Uh, because I, I am an interior designer and I have my business since uh, 2009. And it was very rough during times. And um, we had some financial problems and it was like um, every time things were starting to get well and better and new clients came, new p projects came, then suddenly something happened and suddenly everything like disappeared into nothing and we had to start uh, with zero again. And during this time, uh, my husband was not working, he had no job and... Um, yes, we had only one income, and it, that's it was very hard during times. And this this was like a pattern. It was always the same. Every time things were starting to get better again, then some some insurance fees had to be paid, or something happened, and everything was gone again. It it was uh, it was very frustrating for us, and. But we, we prayed and we believed God that he will bring us through. And we also started watching Emmanuel TV. And we, had a, 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 we wanted to come to, to maybe to Nigeria and to visit the scone, but we had no money for it. But a few months ago, uh, actually one year ago, my husband got a job, a very good job. And I think it's the hand of God leading us. And now we were able to come here. And I think now it's the time for me, for my breakthrough, and I confirm that prophecy to be true. So tell us, when the man of God prayed for you, what exactly did you feel? I felt like it was like all the despair, all the frustration was washed out of me. And I felt uh, all the emotions coming out of me, and I was, I was relieved. Um, after that prayer, I believe it's it's the breakthrough point, and now things are radically changed, and and the breakthrough will come, and things are starting to get better from now on. Yes, we are very happy for what the Lord has done in your life, and we'd also like to encourage you to make the Word of God the standard for your life. Read your Bible daily and stay away from sin, so that you'll be able to maintain this breakthrough and this blessing in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I will do that. One year later, Mr. and Mrs. Nimrichter came once again to the Synagogue Church of All Nations in Thessaloniki to share the amazing things the Lord had done in their lives after their appointment with Jesus Christ when they participated in the prayer line 
that faithful day. Let's watch. Sister, we welcome you here to the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Please introduce yourself, tell us your name, where you're coming from, and who is the gentleman standing next to you? My name is Ina Nimrichter. I come from Austria, from Graz, suburbs of Graz. And the gentleman standing beside me is my husband, Walter Nimrichter. We thank the Lord for the prophetic message that you received through his faithful servant, man of God, Harry. So at this point, we would like to ask you, what is your testimony? Um, I'm working as a self-employed interior designer since the year 2009. And although the things were going well in the beginning, at a, at a certain point, everything just stopped. Um, there were no phone calls, there were no new clients, and I didn't know why, because before it was all going fine, and then suddenly it stopped. And I was, I was feeling shocked. I thought, what, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> because everything was fine, and then suddenly nothing. And it was uh, one to three months, I don't remember well, but for me it felt like a very long time because I stood up in the morning and I had just nothing to do. And after this time, suddenly there were phone calls again, there were new clients, there were new projects, everything back to normal. For a few months it was normal again, everything okay, and then again it stopped. No phone calls, nothing. No oh. phone calls and no new clients. And I just sat at home feeling depressed and very disappointed. And after a while I, I recognized a pattern. It was like everything is good and I got hopeful and I felt a breakthrough and then stop. And it, a setback came again. And for me it looked like there's something not normal. It's like a spiritual problem. And I thought, okay, maybe I need spiritual deliverance. I need help somehow with this. Yes, and um, my husband and I, um, we found uh, on YouTube videos of TB Joshua, and we saw some cases with financial setbacks, and we saw these people getting breakthrough in their lives, and we recognized, okay, this is really a problem. Maybe we need spiritual deliverance, and maybe it's not God's will just to endure all the time, but it is, it is his will that we prosper. Yes, and that was a, like a, a very new thought for us both, that, okay, this is not God's will for us. Yes, and also in my family, um, there was also a big disappointment for me because I try to uh, improve the relationships to my father, my mother, my sister, but it was not uh, going well. I, I didn't do anything, but it was like um, one day everything is okay, and the next day they are talking behind my back and are not friendly, are moody, and there was no reason for it. And also in my husband's family there were problems, and um, he and his siblings were not, um, yeah, they, have a, they had a, a strain in their relationships and there were also financial problems. So what her sister is telling us is that she's confirming the prophecy she received regarding the disappointment. Let us hear from our brother at this point. Brother, please introduce yourself and also share with us your experience. Hello, my name is Walter Nimrichter. I'm from Austria. Um, and as my wife said, I also, um, my family was quarreling a lot since uh, my father died in 2014. Um, and we were expecting an inheritance from him and this was causing a lot of trouble because uh, my, sibling, my siblings had financial, financial plans and financial problems, so um, they were looking forward to getting the inheritance. But this was not possible since um, my father left a lot of debt since uh, he had a big business and built buildings and the inheritance could, could only be uh, released if the buildings were sold. 
And um, although my mother tried hard to sell the building and there were uh, people interested in, in buying the building, a deal was never made. Since when were you trying to sell this building? Uh, the building, um, my mother tried to, to sell the building since uh, 2014 when my father died. So this was what was causing a lot of disappointment in your family as well, correct? Absolutely. Very well, let us hear from our sister. We want to know from that faithful day that you received prayer from the man of God, Harry, and you received the, this prophetic word, which struck the root cause of all your problems. Tell us what are the changes you experienced after that moment? Yes, after we came back, I received calls. I received um, new projects, new clients, and even bigger projects than I ever had before. It was like a dream come true for me. Hallelujah, let us clap for Jesus Christ. Ask you to this to on Jesus Christ. And the best thing was that there were no setbacks anymore. It was going on and going on and going on and the next project and the next client. And it was like almost too much. <laughs> and it's, it's still going on. And also the relationships to my family, um, they got so much better. And I didn't do anything other than before. I was just like the same. But they are acting very differently towards me now. And they are really friendly. And I can, I can really feel their heart towards me now. And yes, and, and this is also a healing for me. And I'm very happy and very thankful about that. So regarding your career, we want to show some pictures that you brought us. Sister, please tell us, what are we looking at? Yes, these are just some designs I made, and I'm also working as a 3D artist. I do uh, 3D drawings and renderings. Yes, and um, I do some work also for other architects and for uh, construction companies, for their uh, websites and for their folders. Yes. Hallelujah, let us clap for Jesus Christ. And now we would like to hear from our brother. Brother, we know that you have some changes as well regarding your family. Please share with us what happened. Uh, the person most affected by the uh, inheritance issue was my mother since she had the big debt and she had always to postpone uh, the, the debt with the bank. And so she was emotionally very stressed about this. And as, as soon as we, um, when we had received the prayer and got back home, uh, she talked to me and said that the, that the building was sold. After five years of trying to sell this building, it was sold right after the prayer. And before the end of the year, the inheritance was released and the quarreling between the brothers ended. So what happened with the inheritance after that? Everybody's happy now, correct? Yeah, everybody get their inheritance and even more. Now. Go ahead, you can clap for Jesus Christ. Since the building was sold uh, even for an even higher price than expected, also the inheritance was about 10 to 15 percent higher as expected. Wow, indeed, Jesus Christ was with you. So we're very happy for you both. We would like to hear at this point, sister, what is your advice to all those who are listening to you that may be experiencing something similar? Um, I would advise um, not to think about the situation of setback as a normal thing. It can be a spiritual problem and then it can be solved quickly. But sometimes um, there, is a, there, there is a spiritual attack behind it. So I would advise everybody who, who um, experiences a setback like that um, to search for a, um, spiritual help. Amen. We thank God for this beautiful word of advice. Our sister is telling us it is important for us when we face a spiritual attack or some spiritual problem, it is important for us to run to a living church, to run toward Jesus Christ for help. Please share with us what is your promise to God Almighty for what he has done for you and your family? My promise to God is that I will serve him every day of my life with everything I have and everything I do. It may be to his glory. 
We will be in prayer with you for you to hold on to this grace so that you can have him as the beginner and finisher of your faith. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.